Welcome to another session in the educational series about Vaultize. Vaultize, the enterprise platform for enabling secure file sharing, anywhere access, and mobile collaboration with end-to-end -end data security and flexible deployment options. Hello, my name is Gary Cook, and I am the Chief Solutions Architect for Vaultize in North America. In this session, I'm going to show you how to create an Anywhere Access policy for an end user. Anywhere Access policy being the ability for an end user to be able to access their file share, SAN or NAS data from inside the network, outside with a mobile device, be it a tablet or a phone or their laptop desktop, without the use or need for VPN. So let's start off by showing you the file share we're going to go to. We're going to click on Demo Share here. We're going to click on J. Doe. So we're going to set this up for John Doe. And we see that John has several things out here in his area. He's got an admin guide and a deployment guide for Vaultize. He's got some PDF files. And he also has some video files. So what we're going to do is make it so that he can get to all of this data remotely without having to use VPN. So let's go in and set up our Anywhere Access Policy. Now we're going to log in as our admin for our aa.com company. And we're going to come into our screen, so we've the admin screen that we've continuously see when we log in. We're going to come down to policies. This time we're going to select the anywhere access policy. So far there isn't a default policy created for this, so we're going to create a new one. So we're going to create policy, and we're going to call this AAAA -A 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 Anywhere Access Policy. And we're going to have it apply to file servers. And in this case, I've only got the one file server, but I'm going to put an asterisk here to say any subsequent file servers that I use in an, in an IP segment range, we're going to include all of them in our network here in case I add some additional file shares. The next screen we're going to come to us is define files and folders. So we here are going to determine what kind of files and folders we're going to allow to be accessed through Anywhere Access, basically using the Vaultize server as a pass-through that the end user will be able to get to the data. So let's say, let's pick uh, picture and image files. We're going to pick audio and music files, video files, because we saw some of the things that John had. And we'll also get, let's go get out the uh, office files also. So we've picked our files that we're going to have. We're going to exclude. We'll come down, and if you have an include, you always have to have an exclude. So we're going to exclude everything else. And we have now created our Anywhere Access policy. The next step will be to apply this policy to John. So we're going to go up to our users. We're going to click on users. So we're going to go out here and do apply policy. And we're, as we mentioned before, we're going to select John Doe. He's the only person we're going to put in the Anywhere Access policy we created. We're going to select the Anywhere Access policy. And you can see the various items that we selected earlier. So we want to go ahead and apply the policy. Now we've got a couple other forms we need to fill out. So we want to pick all the selected devices that John may use. The target type, we're going to actually look for, so you can see desktop, laptop, file server, or Google Drive. We're going to do file server. And our IP domain, so we're going to put the IP address and port 445. Username, so I've got the way I set up the file share, we actually have a different individual's name and password here. You guys will have something set up different for your own environment. We're going to test the connection and it says the connection was tested successfully. We're going to go ahead and continue. And now you can do automatic mapping. So if you were set up using Active Directory or LDAP, you could automatically do this. As you guys know, I created John as a manual, so we're going to continue on that path. So we're now going to put in our server path, and we'll do demo share forward slash jdo forward slash, because that's what we put in our Windows Explorer, if you remember. And we're going to pick John Doe as our user. There's John. We're going to do add, and we could also do this by map, uh, mapping and importing a CSV file. We've chosen once again to do this manually. So we're going to apply this, and we're going to see that John now has an Anywhere Access policy associated with his name. So we're going to log out of here. We're going to shut this down. Now we're going to go 
to the voltize icon on our workstation. We're going to go look at John's information, and look at my vault, and we're going to see that we have the information for John's vault here, his home, the shared folder. We've got all data, and now all data happens to have a folder called JDO at 192.168.1.14. We could share this if we wanted to. We can download it. So share, download, or delete. In this case, we want to take a look at all the information that we have out there. And now we can see those various folders. There's the Voltize guides, and we're going to see that we have the two admin guides out there. Come out of here, John Doe. We're going to see those PDF files. So there's all the PDF files that we had listed in there so that John could look at any of those. And we'll also see John has those video files. So we could pull down any of those video files. This is on the workstation laptop. And if you give me just a minute here, we're going to go over and take a look at John's iPad. So we'll bring up John's iPad. And there's John's iPad, and we're going to click here on our Voltize icon. And we're going to enter our PIN number. And now we see that on the All Data folder, there's the John Doe folder, 192.168.1.14. And we come in and we'll click on the John Doe folder. And we'll see that there's those three folders, Voltize Guides, PDF Files, and Videos. We'll click on the Voltize Guides. There those show. We'll take a look at the Voltize PDF files. There all those show, so we could select any one of those. Let's see. We'll do the Voltize Mobility Solution. Bring it up, and there it is right there. It's a PowerPoint, or it's a file that we can take a look at. And we can come out to the Voltize videos, and you'll see all the video files. So, as we talked about, I now have the ability, or John, I should say, has the ability. We can also see the file downloaded. That's when we pulled down that file. This is on our workstation. We can see that the Voltize Mobility Solution file was downloaded. But you can see now that along with being able to see our recent data, we also have the ability to check out file share data remotely without using VPN using the Voltize server. And that's our session for today. We hope that you have found this session in the Voltize Education Series to be informative and educational. Please visit our website at voltize.com for more videos in the series educating you on the Voltize platform. If you have any questions or comments about Voltize, please send an email to sales at voltize.com. Thank you.